I'm talking today with Neil McRae, Chief Architect at BT, about the UK national operators developing relationship with Nokia. So Neil, can you tell us about BT's long-standing relationship with Nokia and how that involves multiple business groups at the vendor? BT's worked with Nokia across many different technologies and many different parts of, of Nokia. Um, we worked with them to roll out the 7750 and 7950 um, IP router that makes up the heart of BT's network here in the UK. And it's a high capacity, outstanding performance uh, routing platform that really um, connects the whole country together and um, delivers broadband for, for home users and business users, delivers Ethernet services for, for business users and cloud companies, and it delivers mobile backhaul for, for many mobile operators. It's a true multi-service platform. We also work with Nokia software division where we leverage um, their uh, authentication platforms for mobile, HLR, HSS, etc. And again, that's a really important platform in terms of scale with signaling increasing uh, and customers demanding more from the network. It's really important that that platform is super reliable. And, and also we work with Nokia uh, on FTTP deployment um, in our open reach division where we are building FTTP uh, across the country at an incredible rate, really connecting homes um, with gigabit speed capabilities and building and investing for the future. And not just in, in town centers, but we're also building a lot of that in rural locations and hard to reach locations at, at a pace that's, that's um, incredible and, and, and something that we're really driving hard on. Uh, and then finally, we, we've been working with the Nokia uh, mobile and radio group for, for, for many years in the past on 2G, 3G and 4G, and now expanding the relationship into 5G and expanding that relationship into more towns and cities and really building a new platform and a completely different way of building networks to really take mobile connectivity and mobile networks to a, a new level that many folks um, won't have seen before. But here at BT, that's what we do day in, day out. We want to provide the best experience for customers and we want to be able to show it um, in the customer satisfaction and customer feedback. And we want to ultimately be proud of what we build and, and our, our fantastic relationship with, with Nokia, where they share that common goal, really makes that easy. So can you tell us about this expanding relationship with Nokia on the mobile radio front? Our relationship with Nokia is expanding on the radio front, um, driven by a, a new relationship that we've been cultivating with Nokia and radio. Um, Nokia, like ourselves, want to be at the top of performance for customers and, and drive the best customer experience. So we've been working with, with the Nokia radio team probably over the past 12 to 18 months on how we might expand the use of their technology in the BTEE mobile network, serving more and more of our customers, not only 4G, but increasingly with 5G as well. Uh, and you know we've just agreed to, to, to deploy Nokia across a huge amount of the, the UK, um, driving Nokia's you know, leading silicon developments in, in radio uh, to deploy uh, solutions that will give our, give our customers the best experience and retain um, you know, our network as the number one network in the UK for performance. What are the business opportunities that radio access infrastructure can enable now and in the future? Uh, and what are BT's priorities here? So our priorities in, in deploying new radio are really focused around giving customers a fantastic experience, no matter where they are or what they're doing. And that's everything from consumers as they might use their, their phone to order food to uh, businesses that increasingly want to use the power of the network to improve their efficiency in supply chain and, and, and pretty much every use case that's out there. Increasingly, automation and dig digitalization of processes in every industry really requires us to provide all of, all of our customers, um, in particular enterprises, a greater experience with mobile phone, with mobile connectivity. 
not just outside and outdoors, but in factories, in stadiums, in warehouses, wherever it, wherever they need, wherever they have people operating, wherever they actually increasingly have machines operating, um, it's important that we're able to have a selection of solutions such that, like the solutions that Nokia have that serve not just the macro, but can serve in building, can serve, can, can do regeneration of signals so we can upgrade capacity, um, do also drive, um, you know, greater spectrum use and, and more efficient spectrum use to give that experience to customers so that customers can build their processes and their businesses and their lives all around the network. And what are the key challenges associated with the deployment and management of these next-gen technologies? The hardest part about rolling out any new technology isn't usually the technology itself. It's all around the people and the community of people that, that work within BT and with Nokia to build you know, a network that really makes a difference to our customers. How we work together, how we come together, how we trust each other, are really the key things that make a deployment like this successful. Any ma any significant project like this, and this, this project is, is massive, will always have challenges. And if you have a strong relationship, which we do with Nokia, a huge amount of trust, we overcome those challenges because we absolutely are jointly focused on not just building a network that you would normally build, but actually using this opportunity and this new um, relationship to build a network that's substantially better than what's available today. And, and at EE and BT, um, you know, we've won every award there is to win in, in networking um, and in mobile and customer experience. And we do that because we never allow the status quo um, to become the norm. We, we challenge ourselves. We look at things differently. We look at, is there a better way of doing that constantly? And one of the reasons we select Nokia was because they themselves were also operating like that and have operated like that in many of the other business units that we work with Nokia. But people make things happen. And, and our people working with, with uh, the team from Nokia, are, you know, are already working uh, through this project, already achieved a massive amount in the last 12 to 18 months and already achieved a huge amount of trust and common ground around the key things that are important to us and our customers. And, and trying to get us to a position of win-win is really what we've been focused on. Those of those people that know me well know I hate compromise because it means you're not someone's not happy. So we've worked together to avoid compromise and drive that win-win for both Nokia and BT and ultimately our customers. So how do these technologies play out in the UK market? And how does BT plan to leverage its fixed and mobile assets together? BT is working on a converged network, a network that actually doesn't really care whether you're a fixed customer, a mobile customer, or a Wi-Fi customer. We want the experience across all of our networks to be consistent, to be outstanding, to be something that, that you would tell your, your neighbor how brilliant it was. That, that's our goal. And, and really, we've been working to drive that convergence across all of our network components, all of the services that we offer so that you know we can offer a service to a retailer that allows a 4G service to, to back up its fixed line service or to stand up a pop-up shop you know, in a shopping center just on 4G. And we have many customers using that service today. We've also taken the, the capabilities of the mobile network, uh, expanded them into Wi-Fi and put them into places like uh, pubs where people can order online and, and more of that sort of instant digital capability is becoming increasingly the norm, whether you're at home, whether you're um, out in the streets or whether, whether you're at work. So we really see the network, um, you know, having to be everywhere so that everyone can do the things that they do, be it in their personal life or in their work life, that the network is there to serve them. Um, no matter what it is that they're trying to do. And, and that's really the, the, the core focus of how we're building and how we're thinking about networks at BT. And Neil, can you just uh, explain uh, and tell us how uh, COVID-19 has impacted uh, the traffic and data usage on BT's network? 
COVID-19 has really made a, a big difference to the traffic on our network um, through the early lockdown phases through to the kind of releasing of lockdown. We've seen just a consistent increased usage of the network. Um, many people working from home, including myself, where, where I am now, um, able to continue to, to be useful, to continue to drive their businesses. Um, and, and that's driven a lot of traffic on our broadband network and on our mobile network to swift, to swing from kind of evening time to during the day. Uh, we've seen two or three, uh, traffic records on the network through this period, driven by streaming, driven by video game playing, but also driven by, um, big events such as, uh, you know, companies that want to do, uh, company wide broadcasts where our networks underpinning their ability for their CEO to communicate to the whole company, which in a time like this only becomes more important. Um, so um, huge amounts of extra traffic, huge amounts of focus on stability and reliability for us. And, and I think, you know, we've done a fantastic job, not just at BT, but across our whole industry. I think uh, the world has really seen the value of telecommunications. And I think the new normal um, will all be about ensuring that the telecommunications partner that you work with can really step that extra mile and deliver what you need. And all of our customers are seeing that from us where, you know, we're able to help our customers um, move from working in the office to working at home, firing up thousands of VPN seats on our cloud very quickly for them, being able to adapt their, their contact center solutions for their agents to work at home, all of those things we've done for our customers through this through the COVID period, uh, and we continue to to help our customers adapt to the new ways of working. So we're rolling out Wi-Fi into bars where instead of going to the bar, all the all the ordering for drinks is now online via table service, and we have solutions that our customers are taking from us to to be able to to drive that connectivity for their customers. Uh, so that you know people can go out and enjoy themselves in a safe way. Fantastic. Great insights, Neil. Thanks very much for joining us today, and we look forward to talking to you again in the future.